I'm Dr. Vivek Anand. I've been practicing at Noble Vitiligo Clinic for the last 18 years, where I've been performing melanocyte transplant surgeries for stable vitiligos with a very good success rate. And over the last 18 years, we have treated thousands of patients who have been suffering from white patches. Surgical treatment for vitiligo is a must because medical treatment does not yield results in all cases all the time. The older surgical treatments were skin grafting and punch grafting, whereas the newer ones, when I say newer, it's still about 18 years old, is the, the melanocyte cell transplant surgery. The advantages of surgical treatment is that it yields color faster. The older treatments like skin grafting and punch grafting were a little inferior in terms of cosmetic results, whereas melanocyte transplant gives you much better cosmetic results compared to skin grafting or punch grafting. The main advantage of cell transplant is that a small piece of skin of around 10 square centimeters yields enough cells which can cover about 100 square centimeters. The same piece of skin can be reused if you have more than 100 square centimeters of white patches. What we do here is once we take 10 square centimeters of skin, we put it in medias and reagents to separate out the various layers of the skin. The cells which are melanocytes and keratinocytes are then harvested, it's centrifuged we get a cell suspension, then we derm upbraid or remove the upper layer of the white skin and then the cell suspension is applied on this derm upbraided skin. We then cover it with the collagen dressing and we put a plaster which is removed after 7 to 10 days depending on which part of the body is treated. Once we remove the plaster, the treated area turns pink and then we use a combination of light which could be narrowband ultraviolet light, sunlight, soralins and steroids to stimulate the pigmentation. Pigmentation starts very fast within three to six weeks and is completed by two to three months. The success rate of cell transplant again depends on what type of vitiligo one is treating. The best results are seen in segmental vitiligos and focal vitiligos. It's a little less compared to generalized vitiligo and acrofacial vitiligo doesn't respond well to cell transplant. So now when we get a patient of acrofacial vitiligo, we do a test patch there are a few patients who respond very well. There are a few patients who don't respond well at all. So depending on the results of the test patch, we then proceed with acrofacial vitiligo. However, this test patch is not required in the other varieties of vitiligo. To conclude, vitiligo or white patches on the skin, though it is a psychological problem in most patients, can be treated to a large extent using medical and surgical options. And one does not have to fear from this problem anymore. The main uh, problem with medical treatment is that it doesn't cure all the patches all the time. So by adding surgery, we hasten the pigmentation and give you color faster. The only disadvantage with vitiligo treatment is that it is never permanent as there is no permanent cure either for the genetic form or for the autoimmune form of vitiligo. But the main advantage of today's treatment is that it helps you to get rid of existing patches. A small percentage of people who have undergone treatment with us have come back with new white patches. But even if a new white patch appears, it can always be retreated. However, the only problem is that there is no medicine which can prevent development of new white patches.